Hey guys, Girl Gamer Cruise here. Today I'm going to do a video of how to set up the Elgato Game Capture HD for PS4 with the new and improved new 1.70 update for the PlayStation 4. Not only that, but Elgato has also released an update specifically for the PlayStation 4. So, as you guys know, the PlayStation 4 had HDCP which means that it wouldn't allow you to record gameplay using your capture card. But now, today is a special day, and Sony released the update. So, now I am ready to record gameplay without using this player. If you guys saw my previous video, I could and I found a way to record my gameplay, but the only downfall was you need to buy an extra splitter, which... It's cheap, but it's a hassle, and now you don't have to worry about that. So, I'm going to show you how to set it up, and then I'll go right into it. Alright, let's get to it. Alright guys, as you see, I have everything that I'm going to be using for this setup laid out on the table. First thing you see, you need the Game Capture HD. The next thing you'll need is the HDMI cable that came included the PS4 box when you first got it. Next is the HDMI that comes included in the package of the Game Capture HD. And finally, the USB that also comes included in packing. So everything you see here, you will already have for this setup. So that's great. Now let's get right into it. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do, get the Game Capture HD and get the PS4 HDMI cable. You're going to want to plug one side on the left side of the Game Capture HD where it says HDMI in. The other end of the HDMI cable will go to your PlayStation 4 system. Next, you're going to want to get the HDMI that came inside the Game Capture HD box and plug one side of the Game Capture HD right side where it says HDMI out, HDMI out. Plug the other side of that HDMI into your television or monitor. Now last step, grab the USB cable and plug that into the Game Capture HD on the right side where it says USB. Now the other end of the USB cable will go into your PC. And that's it. Moments later, you should have the PS4 displayed on your television or monitor screen. Alright, right now I'm on my PlayStation 4 home screen. We're going to want to go to settings. And I want to show you that I do have the update. So I'm going to go to system software update. So in order for this to work, you first have to update your PS4 to the 1.70 update. And as you see, it says I have the latest version of the system software already installed. Go back. Now... Let's go into Elgato. Alright guys, before you start the Game Capture HD software, there's a part you really need to do before anything. So you're going to go to Settings. Now that you're in Settings, go down to System. Go down to enable HDCP. Guys, this is really important. This has to be unchecked because if this is checked, then the Game Capture HD software will not allow gameplay to be shown. So, as you see, I have it unchecked. So, you want this to be unchecked again, like that. So, once you have that, we can now go on into the software. 
All right, guys. Now that you have everything set up correctly, you're gonna want to go to the Game Capture HD software. So double click that. I have mine running in the background, and your TV is gonna go blank for a second, but it's gonna be detecting the signal that you have everything set up correctly and is showing up. But if it doesn't, you need to configure it. But before I do that, this is a major step in this video. You're gonna want to update the software if you haven't. So I have it on check updates for automatically. So it, the first time I run it, the software it automatically told me that I had to install a, the latest update, and that update allows. Elgato to capture from the PS4 without the splitter, which is amazing. Thank you, Sony. So, if you don't have it in automatic update, you have to go to where to the next symbol, which is an I. I guess it stands for information, and go down for check for updates. And it says you're up to date. Game capture 1.4. All right, so let's go back. And now you are ready to configure so let's go to device tab configuration button now under the capture tab input device should be PlayStation 4 because obviously we're using a PlayStation 4 your HDMI color range you could have it in standard or expanded but I hate I don't like expanded because it bright bright brightens my TV so I, I leave it at standard Profile, I like it at 1080p. Quality on default is around right here, but I like mine at best. Your choice if you want to. Uh, Preserve source format, stretch standard definition input. I leave those alone because I don't like messing with them because I really don't know what they do. But to save your changes, you press OK. And yeah, now it should be displayed on the left side, just like that. Easy and simple. Alright guys, that was it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was easy and simple and really useful for you guys. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, just comment below the video and I'll be happy to help you if I can. Thanks again for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date with me. I'll be uploading videos. And again, this is how to set up the Elgato Game Capture HD for the PS4 with the new 1.7D update. Thanks for watching.